if you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes what's good to my beautiful people welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's your girl miss sis and i'm back with another video so today i'm going to be doing a full face using elf cosmetic makeup now i have done this video before which i did post and i've taken down um i pretty much want to redo it again because to be honest i don't like the quality of that video if you are new to the channel and you do love makeup content make sure you do subscribe and put on your post notifications on to all give this video a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot also follow me on Instagram and TikTok I'm trying to get onto TikTok so make sure you follow me on there and without further ado let's get right into the video obviously the girls always got the brows on because that's the longest part and I never really venture out on new brow products because I am boring at that as I do have normal to dry combination skin I always like a hydrating primer so the primer I'm going to use today is the hydrating power the hydrating primer serum which you know what I haven't used this for a while and now getting back into filming I've realized there's a lot of makeup I have completely neglected over the last year um, because the girl wasn't really feeling makeup wasn't really inspired and yeah so it's actually nice to be dibble dabbling in my makeup collection and I actually got a few goodies that I need to play around with skin so skin is skinning all prime and looking all hydrated so we're gonna go on to foundation now difference is from number one my almost back off my mirror the difference between the last video i posted and now that i do have the camo cc cream camouflage cc cream in the shade rich 62 at the same time i do want to wear the foundation i think i'm gonna wear the foundation you know yeah let me wear the foundation so um, I do have two shades. I've got Sienna and I've also got Chocolate. I can't remember which one was more better shade match for me. I think it's Sienna, even though Sienna's a little bit warm tone. See, this is what I'm going to try to tell you. Oh no, I'm going to can't remember about makeup these days, yeah? So please help me. So my brush, I'm just going to use my Beauty Bay In The Buff brush, which is actually one of my... Oh God, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Oh, okay. This is quite rosy on the tone, isn't it? Okay, so the foundation is on. It's a little bit rosy on the tongue, but it's actually not too bad, especially when it's fully dried. A little bit matte, so thank God for my hydrated primer, but we're gonna move on to concealer. So obviously, e.l.f. has the most popular concealers ever, the Camel Concealer. Literally one of my favorites to this day, but I do prefer the hydrating concealer, <laughs> you know. So the shade that I use is Deep Chestnut. Yes, this concealer is giving me life and it's actually I feel like that concealer is just giving me a little bit more of a hydrating glow to my face again Which I love So she's looking all cute and well at that now. We're gonna go on to Bronzer so funny enough from the last video. This is actually a new addition to my collection Which is the putty bronzers. I'm not gonna lie to you though. I'm not really a huge fan like I know a lot of people stand by these bronzers but I don't know I just don't really use them as often Um, I do have two shades this shade is I don't know oh this shade is a bronzed bell which is not a shade that I like to use to bronze because that's literally like my skin tone shade if not a little bit lighter Um, and then I've got the shade sun kiss which looks like this so that's sun kiss and i just feel like it's quite greasy i experienced that on my skin i don't think a lot of people experience the same thing but i just feel like it's quite greasy so i'm just going to can you see that i'm gonna use my favorite brush of all time which is the morphe e63 brush like if i don't have this to blend up my cream bronzers everything's a flop literally so i'm gonna use this mm. I mean, it's blending that nicely though. I don't know, I feel like it's a catch 22 situation for me. Like, I like it because it blends up nicely, it's lightweight, but then 
I don't know, I still feel like there's a grease there, but then it doesn't feel greasy. That's the weirdest thing. It actually doesn't feel that greasy, but I could still see like a grease sheen. The shade is not my favorite when it comes to a bronzer. I do prefer more of a warm undertone bronzer, um, especially when it comes to my cream products. She, she all right, she all right. Let me not even diss her too much, man. You all right, sun kiss. Your name is Sun Kiss? Yeah, yeah, right. Cream bronzer. But yeah, I just feel like the undertone is not giving me a bronzy vibe. You know? And then, I don't know, I still feel like I can see like a grease there. Can you not see that? Or it's just me? Is it just me? Should I just shush my bush? I'm gonna shush my bush. In other words, I would prefer to use this shade, um, which is a concealer. Once again, it's a hydrating one. And this is in the shade Rich Ebony. Yeah, rich ebony. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this just to give a bit of, see? This is the shade I want from a cream bronzer, you know? That, yes. See, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, 100%, 100%. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to apply is some blush, and I do have the Putty blushes. Um, the shades that I have is, I have no idea. The names are not on this packaging for some reason. I can't remember for the life of me. I literally can't. So I'm gonna either pop it on the screen or leave it in the description box below, but this is one of the shades. And the second shade I have is this one which looks like that. So, I don't know if I'm gonna mix them today, maybe. It's been a while. I'm gonna pop that on the cheek like so. I think it might do a little concussion. Okay, color. So I'm just gonna use my ERG Show Angle Brush and just blend that baby to get, ooh. Okay, I've actually never mixed them before, but this is cute. Hey girl. Oh God, did I wear, oh God. Oh. I think I got a little bit too excited there. <laughs> Let me just bring that up from a 10 to a two. Just gives you like this really nice, beautiful rosiness to the cheeks. <sniffs> Nobody can have chat for me. Okay, this is the scary part for me. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm gonna set my under eyes with a transition powder, which I can't remember if I liked it or not, because to be honest, I think I've only used it twice or maybe one. Um, don't know if it's a particular shade because they don't promote their shades that good. Oh, medium. Okay, let me take it back. Okay, so um, how do I feel? How do I feel? I don't know how I feel about it. You know. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh, the powder. I could definitely see a little bit of a glow. Definitely see a little bit of glow, but in terms of, it doesn't give me that sort of blurring smooth effect, especially having like so many fine lines and a lot going on around my eye area. I prefer it to be more smooth, but it's not the worst, but I'm not in love with it. So I'm gonna quickly set my bronzer now. I don't know if they have a powder bronzer. I haven't seen it, I could be wrong, but I'm gonna use my Beauty Bay one. Haven't used her for a while. Once again, trying to use my makeup that I haven't used for a while. This is in the shade Chestnut, and it's actually quite red and warm, so, oh, to the point that it's actually looking like my blush. <laughs> okay, Chestnut, but she's cute though, okay. Mm, I might use a different bronzer though, because, mm, is it too warm? I'm gonna add some blush now, powder blush. I don't know why I got this one in my collection. Um, this shade is called Always Earth. And she's pretty, but she's just not deep enough to the point that she just looks so washed out compared to my skin tone. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Always Lucky, which is more of a pinky vibe. Have a little bit of pinky moment, ow. Gonna, oh my gosh, I didn't even use my e.l.f. brushes. Such a shame. But I'm gonna use this one. This is the e.l.f. Pointed Powder Blush brush wow that is pigmented oh girl okay okay oh she's cute though oh yeah she is a little bit of me <laughs> once again oh my goodness i'm so angry i realized that elf has recently brought out these i think it's like powders 
I don't know if they're pressed powders or foundation powders, I can't remember, but one of my homegirls, she's got them and she literally raves about them. I'm gonna pop a picture on the screen and I can find it. But I don't have that in my collection. Oh, that's so annoying because that would be perfect for this video. But I'm just gonna use my old school, good old, what's this called again? Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. This is in the shade Dark Deepest. And I'm just gonna set my face right here because I don't have <laughs> The powder from it off so <laughs> cheating i don't know what happened to all my bite-sized palettes but i had loads of them but i can't find any and i don't really want greens on my eyes but this one which is the pumpkin pie she's cute but she just doesn't have like a deep dark brown shade so i don't know what to do okay so i quickly just primed my eye with the concealer and um, so i'm gonna go into this palette Mm, don't know if this shade's gonna be given though. So I'm gonna go into this dark shade. Mm, okay. Let me see what she's doing. Okay, I think she might do a little something something. Let me prime my other eye actually. That's the first shade down. Quite cool tone, but it just have to do to the point that I feel like it doesn't go with my blush, but I ain't got no choice. So I'm gonna go into this shade and just blend out oh wow this is like skin tone shade <laughs> i actually really like that shade you look probably didn't even see <laughs> what i applied but it's really nice for a transition shade just go into this one have a little bit of a bronzy gold moment okay yes pigmentation okay Okay, so these are the eyes semi done. The blush shade is throwing me off a little bit, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I would prefer more of like an orangey shade. Should I try the orange shade? Should I embarrass myself? I'm embarrass myself yet. Yeah. Oh, nah, should I? I bet I'm gonna F this up now. Oh lord. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, so she's dead. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> she just muted down the pink a little bit, but yeah. Definitely not a shade that I can wear on its own. Now, okay, guys, so I'm back. Lashes are on. Pretty much good to go. So I don't have anything else to put on my face. No highlighter today. A little bit weird, but we moved. So I'm gonna set my face um, and then do my lips after. So I'm gonna use the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I actually really like this, you know. I'm surprised that it's still kind of full. Girl, I need to use this more often. But from the last time I remember, it did good. So. Let me just set my face now. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. My hair is just not doing the bits tonight. But who's really got time for do doing hair after midnight? Who do I think I am, please? So I don't have a huge variety when it comes to lip products, to the point that I don't even have a lip liner, but I do like this shade. Oh, so stunning. It's a prismatic lip gloss in the shade Imperial. Imperial imperial topaz so i'm gonna use my good or trustworthy morphe lip liner in the shade trendsetter and then i'm gonna go in with the lip gloss and oh my god not too sure if it goes with the eyes though but it doesn't matter this shade just oh it just does it for me. Mm, it doesn't really go with the eye makeup, does it? Okay, so considering that we don't have a cohesive theme going on right now with the eyes, lip and the blush, but these are all the products that I only have in my collection from Elf, so. Okay guys, so this is the final and completed look. And overall, I pretty much like the majority of the products. The primer, the setting spray, she gave me back some life and some dewiness. The blushes are beautiful. The foundation is nice. A little bit too matte for me, but with the concussion with a hydrating primer, she's good to go. The concealer is literally like my favorite. The bronzer, mmm. The formula is nice. I don't like the grease residue that it leaves afterwards, but once it's set, I mean, you're pretty much good to go. And the undertone is not my favorite, but the concealer in the shade Rich Ebony, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using that a little bit more to cream bronze because she is just 
that perfect shade that beautiful undertone she's just a little bit of me um so yeah pretty much everything else worked out really nicely the only thing i probably would say that i don't really like is the halo setting spray if you're fine to use like a setting spray setting spray the halo setting powder if you're fine to use a powder to set your makeup then you'll probably get that nice sort of glow to your face but then setting your makeup but for me for someone that's got very fine distinctive lines under the eyes deep set under eye i just feel like it didn't really do what i wanted to do my concealer started to settle in my fine lines pretty much straight away and it just didn't give me that nice blurred canvas and especially not using my charlotte tilbury <laughs> which i feel like i'm having withdrawal symptoms right now it's just not doing what i want it to do but apart from that, that's pretty much the end of the video. I will list all the details in the description box below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I would love to see you guys in my next video. Bye. And boom. Step on the tune like. Big up my sisters.